Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, uh, I will uh, continue with uh, the previous, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, activities that we were performing. Okay, we have uh, uh, spoke about uh, uh, top command. We talked about rare command, and uh, also uh, you know stats command. We have done. Uh, uh, we have covered till here uh, in last two videos. Now we'll see how we can. Uh, uh work with uh, evil command all right so uh, so to do that let me write the query first we'll have to define the index here okay index equal to employee underscore index and then uh, you know, we'll have to write this query and then uh, you know follow the process to write the evil command here so if you see here the the time field extraction which is done um, based on the time of that particular field uh, which we have done right so if you can see here event uh, actions as well right so uh, you know the extraction uh, the fields which were extracted uh, if you can uh, just have a look on that because this is going to be really important uh, while you write the uh, uh, you know evil command for that particular uh, um, for that particular query or the particular scenario okay so if you see here this is where uh, uh, generally you can write uh, the regular expression and then uh, uh, highlight it because uh, you uh, before you do that you will have to uh, write this excellent regular expression and then uh, uh, generate uh, that particular query with the regular expression right so to do that See, remember, uh, we are going for that particular index. Okay, so uh, source type equal to index. Uh, sorry, uh, employee underscore uh, source. Okay, okay. If I can just uh, you know try generating it. Okay, it should be you know generating the uh, the the values of that particular query. And then. Uh, now it will give the result of that uh, regular expression so the, the, the pattern i am sure you all know that way because because i have uh, already uh, you know given the uh, regular expression pattern in my previous videos you can refer them uh, for more uh, uh, you know information uh, for you to get all right so in this in this uh, specific video we will talk about uh, exactly the regular how do you use the top command when it comes to the uh, particular query of the expression? Okay, let me do this now. Go to field and uh, field extraction. After that, go to new and add here. Okay. Because his because this is where you're adding that particular new field for that uh, extraction, right? So we'll have to define the name of that uh, particular field, which is as you know, uh, it it depends. Okay, in this case, if I take uh, for my specific scenario, it would be uh, first name, okay, and uh, name would be employee source, employee source, and uh, you know the type should be in line, right? So we will uh, do that as well. See. The extraction trans, uh, transform by default. If you can see here, you can just add this. Uh, you know the. You can just add the name of that uh, uh, field which we're which we're trying to extract. Right, just submit. Okay, so it will take some time, and then uh, you will see that particular, uh, uh, you know, extraction. I mean, of the field which we have uh, just added some time back. Right, there you go. You can see it here. Okay. And then what you can do is just click on this permissions. Okay, I'm sure you all know uh, what permissions is, uh, you know, uh, what is the use of these permissions. You can uh, uh, grant access based on the requirement to anybody, all right? So it, 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 it can be admin, it can be, a, a, you know, I mean, the access, either if you, want, if you wanted to give both read and write, you can do that, or any one access, you can, provide that as well okay so let me go back try and show that index equals to 
deploy underscore right things right so i was doing this for that particular uh, text for the particular field okay there you go you can see all the i know uh, interesting fields here okay they are they are all uh, reflecting based on the uh, you know fields which is been uh, uh, reflecting out here right so uh, with our date minute and all the uh, you know all the other stuff which uh, will be giving you that idea uh, for uh, this particular uh, uh, scenario okay so this is how uh, typically you do, uh, you know, um, uh, the general field extraction. And you can see here, see uh, the other, uh, uh, you know, events which were reflecting here is Spunk training employee underscore details. This is, uh, I'm sure you all know because, uh, I mean, uh, the folder or the name will be definitely different for you based on the index, based on the uh, field that you've been creating, right? So I can read this here to show you again. Okay. Dot M O K I. If I if I try and differentiate the name uh, because uh, you know uh, just to show you how does it how does it look like. All right. So uh, let me change this and then you can there you go you can see here right so the the uh, name which is already there joseph uh you know uh if I, I was trying to try you know any kind of a different uh name for the particular field which would be uh easy for you to identify okay so if i just try that go to fields again let me check the field extraction click on new okay there you go. again I, if i try and uh, create a new uh, this one field for extraction this time it is going to be the uh, last name okay remember uh, if it's the last name then uh, for the source for the uh, employee underscore source and this is going to be the last name here okay the extraction transform the last name right so let me save it once i save you'll see that again here again there you go employee and uh, there you go both of them you are able to see here now previously we have created that one and now this is what we have created and of course again uh, all apps if you can see you can provide a read or write access or any of the roles which are given here, power user, user, or I can delete and admin or uh, you know anything for that matter. You can uh, you know, uh, do that here. And uh, okay, so let me just go back to my uh, search and reporting. All right. I will now show you index equals to employee underscore index always remember you will have to define the index name out here right this is what it is okay and uh, you can check the values for them um, you can check the values as well see uh, for the first name and uh, a second uh, field extraction which we were created you can actually identify the difference for the last name and for the first name uh, uh, based on that particular uh, i mean uh, same index in fact okay so index equal to employee underscore index is the uh, field which we were trying to extract right so again Field extraction whenever you you're trying to do this is the same process go to fields and uh, no kick the field extraction but this time okay if i just uh, uh, if this one calculated okay calculated field i will tell you what 
why uh, you know the calibrated fields are showing like that. There you go. Okay. You have to give the name of that uh, same index. It is exactly uh, the same process which I've done some time back, right? For, for the uh, same index while doing the field extraction. You can actually just write here. First name underscore first underscore name and the last underscore name. This time uh, I'm trying to differentiate with the field extraction for both of the indexes which have uh, you know another field extraction. This will this should give you give you the uh, exact idea how this uh, you know uh, actually works. The different uh, scenarios the way field extraction save there you go again you can provide the access i mean the permissions right provided save okay. once you do that you'll have to identify that name of that particular field which was calculated right index equal to employee underscore uh, employee underscore index This is exactly this is exactly the kind of uh, result that you get for that particular field extraction when you're doing with that uh, with the, the index called uh, employee underscore index, right? Whatever the fields that you have created with a different name, with a different uh, source field of that particular uh, you know index name, you will see it here. Okay. Uh, different uh, all of them are a uh, little bit of different here because we have given a uh, different uh, uh, you know in uh, extracted uh, name here and different field uh, for which we have done the extraction all right now that's one thing we've done uh, extracted field save even type and then create uh, you know uh, we've done these two okay use the extracted field search and save event type we have done till here after first plus last name right this these two scenarios we have done now maybe if you if you talk about creating reports event types created okay so for that what i can do is See here, make sure you remember these uh, which we have uh, created. Okay, they are uh, pretty much important uh, for you. Okay, so if I just take this again as part of the uh, you know, same indexes processing, this should be giving you the exact sort of uh, uh, result. Okay. Click on event type. Okay, so uh, you can create that event type. This is what the uh, next uh, you know scenario. I mean, like next activity in our uh, scenarios, right? So we are doing that. I hope you're getting it. If you have any anything uh, uh, to ask, any questions, please let me know in the comment section so that I can uh, you know try and help you. Okay. Save your event type has been created. This is how you create the event type. Okay. Settings. 
event type. This is the one which internal uh, event type. Okay. Full name underscore event type. If I can uh, try that. Okay. Again, I can go to permissions and provide the required permissions for uh, this as well. Save. Okay, and then event type. Once you create a use extracted field, in search and save an event type. Create report event type created. Okay, in step nine, edit event type and add tags. Okay, so that that's going to be the next uh, uh, step which we'll be doing. Okay. So remember this is going to be the event type, right? You have to write the exact query for that particular event type. What is the event type? Uh, wait for a minute. Event type equals to event type equal to full name event type, right? So if I do that, okay, so one minute. Let me do this change. There you go, you'll get the lock. Okay. You can check with the, uh, uh, sorry, you can create this report here, okay? This is what we have to do as per our requirement. But this particular tip, the event type, event type underscore report, save. There's nothing much that you'll have to do it here. Do here. Okay, so you can actually just view it directly. You can view whichever you have created. There you go. You can see that. And you can search that as well. How do you search it? Go to search and reporting. See here. This is this one which uh, you have uh, worked on it as per the process which we have been doing. I am giving the access. I mean, I'm giving the uh, permission to the these rules, in fact, which you have to do, right? So this is how it will be. You have created the report event type, all right? So, and then edit the event type and add tag. This I'll, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, give you in the next video, all right? Thank you.